What is up and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about a few things that you could do to stay productive during quarantine. If you enjoyed today's video, all I ask is that you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps with the channel. Hit the like button, hit the like button. And with all that being said, let's get into the video. The first way to be more productive is to read books. In this day and age, there's so many different ways that we can learn. We have social media, we have the internet. But in my opinion, the most effective way to learn is by reading books and it's very underrated. Studies show that 24% of American adults haven't read a book in the past year. It's one of those things where it's very hard to just pick up the book, but once you open up the book and start reading, it becomes easier and easier and it's a very fun hobby. If you stop reading for a month, then it's going to be very difficult to pick up the book and continue reading from where you left off. I recommend reading at least 30 minutes a day. There are so many benefits to reading that I can't name them all, so I'll name a few. It strengthens the brain, reduces stress, improves vocabulary, and so much more. A really good book that I'm reading right now is called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. The average CEO reads 60 books per year. So if you guys are at home watching Netflix or have nothing else to do, then a great way to stay productive is by reading books. So the next way to stay productive is to invest in the stock market. If you don't know how to invest in the stock market, then I highly recommend reading books, watching videos, and just learning everything you possibly can about the stock market. Because the earlier you get started investing, the better it is for you. And I'm going to link one of my videos in the description below that talks about why every teenager should invest in the stock market. If you understand how the stock market works, then now is an amazing time to invest. And remember, the best time to invest in the stock market is when everyone else is panicking. If we look at our last stock market crash in 2009, a lot of people were panicking and didn't know what to do. But if you invested $1,000 in Nike stock in 2009, your initial investment of $1,000 would be worth $6,000 today. The truth is nobody knows what's going to happen in the stock market in the next few months or weeks. But if you see value in a company, then you should definitely invest in it. The next way that you could stay productive during quarantine is by growing a personal brand. This is something that I'm doing right now because I have so much time available to learn how to film and edit videos. So that when I go back to my normal schedule, I'll be able to post videos consistently without having to learn how to film and edit. If you have nothing to do at home, then I recommend making videos on something that you're interested in and growing a fan base around it. It could be comedy videos, gaming videos. If you like making shorter videos, you could post on TikTok. If you like making longer videos, you could post on YouTube. And then in a few months or years, you can monetize it and make money off of something that you enjoy doing. Another way that you could stay productive is by eliminating things. For example, instead of scrolling on social media for three hours a day, you could go on it for one hour a day and replace the extra two hours that you save with one of the three things that I mentioned in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section below what you're doing to stay productive and I will see you in the next video.